Morning, dear Manna family. Laura here for our third part of Morning Manna in our Repent acrostic. By quick review, R, recognize that I am a sinner. E, exchange my will for His will. And today, P, pray and confess to God asking for forgiveness. We're gonna look at 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. The Greek word for confess used here is homologeo. It's made up of two words that you're probably familiar with, homo meaning the same and logeo meaning word. It literally means to say the same as, to agree in verbal acknowledgement before God that what He says is true, and in relation to sin that what we have said, thought, done, or haven't done is in direct opposition to Him and His ways. Let's look at David's regular practice once again in living a life where repentance and faith are part of the routine. Remember, as you received Christ Jesus, so walk in Him. We're gonna look at Psalm chapter 32. Blessed is the one whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord counts no iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. So these two verses demonstrate a couple of the blessings or benefits of living a life confessing and receiving forgiveness from the Lord. Now David goes on to describe living with the awareness and the consequences of his transgressions, whatever they may be in this particular context. Verse three, for when I kept silent, in other words, when I was stubborn and justified to myself and to others, my actions and attitudes, when I did not acknowledge and confess, remember what we learned, say the same thing as, when I did not acknowledge and confess to God and when pertinent to others, this is the result. We're going back to the scripture. My bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night, your hand was heavy upon me. Because our Heavenly Father is a mean and vengeful God, my strength was dried up as by the heat of summer. Because God wants to beat us down? Of course not. It is because He knows how we will best accomplish an abundant life and living in iniquity and transgression will blow us off course from achieving that abundant life. David moves into repentance in the next portion of the chapter in verse five. I acknowledge my sin to you and I did not cover my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgave me the iniquity of my sin. This is a continuation now of the benefits of living a life comfortable or accustomed to repentance. And how do we get comfortable and accustomed to repentance? Practice. David goes on. He says, you are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. Victories are being won in our lives when we live in a routine of repentance. Now God is speaking to David in this next portion, beginning in verse eight. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my eye upon you. Do not be like a horse or a mule without understanding, which must be curbed with bit and bridle, or it will not stay near you. Many are the sorrows of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds the one who trusts in the Lord. I wanna look at that word trust. The Hebrew word there is batach, and I love it because of its uh, the, the translation here. It literally means to boldly, confidently take refuge in the Lord. But steadfast love surrounds the one who boldly, confidently takes refuge in the Lord. Lord God, today we purpose to respond to your voice, to be sensitive to your spirit directing us in our everyday lives. We don't wanna have to be guided and taught by confining restrictions, that bit and bridle, as the psalmist says, those tight circumstances that are often a result of our own foolish attitudes, behaviors. We wanna be quick to repent, quick to confess and receive forgiveness so that our fellowship with you is unimpeded and so that we can demonstrate your glorious news, the gospel, at work in our lives to others. In Jesus' name. Dear ones, I love you. I'll see y'all tomorrow.